Let me just check I've got my license. Yep, okay, let's go. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Slight little rush this morning. My alarm clock on my phone didn't go off. It, it literally didn't go off. Luckily, I naturally wake up pretty early anyway, so we're not in too much of a rush. Just a little bit of a rush. All right, we've made it, we can breathe now. Just been into the race HQ, picked up my number. Today I'll be number 17. So the race today is in a place called Cape and Ray, which is just outside Lancaster in the north of England. The circuit is pretty much a rolling circuit, but it's got one, one pretty big climb up to the start finish every lap, which we do. I think six laps of. So we got this climb about six times. It's about a mile long. I'd say with an average gradient of about eight to nine percent. But right at the start of the climb and also right at the finish of the climb, it kicks up real steep. But it could not be a better day. The sun's out. There's no wind. It's nice and warm. The only thing missing today is we've not got Georgia to do the filming. So I'm afraid you're stuck with me. One hour now until the race starts and Every race, about an hour to go, I always eat an energy bar. I don't know what difference it'll make. It's kind of more like a habit or or, or a ritual. Just something that I do before a race, pre-carb up and uh, eat an energy bar. All right, warm up time. We've got about 30 minutes to go until the start of the race. I always prefer to warm up on the road. I, I just get bored of warming up on the rollers or on the turbo trainer. So when I'm at a race, if I can do, Logistically, I always like to warm up like around the circuit or just on the roads in general But anyway, I'm gonna focus on my warm-up and then it's time to race. So I'll see you in a few hours Picking this camera up probably a little bit sooner than I would have initially liked the race is still on We've been going for about two hours and I just punctured I punctured I actually I actually punctured now there was a neutral service but because this circuit is quite a hilly circuit as you can imagine uh, the race was very much broken up I was in the front group got a puncher took my wheel off and I was literally stood waiting for about a minute and a half for for all the groups to come through and for the neutral service car to come through hand me a wheel and then I was uh, back riding again but the group had way gone by then tried to throw it around one more circuit then came back to the car there always seems to be some sort of bad Bad luck with me, something always goes wrong. And it's frustrating because those Michelin tires, I had not punctured once. Since I bought them when I got back from um, Girona in January or, or February, I bought those tires and since I bought them, I've not punctured. And then it comes today to the first real good road race that I wanted to do well at and I punctured. It's like classic Sod's Law. But uh, yeah, I was, feeling, I was feeling really good. I was in the front group within like the first four or five people going up the climb each time. But uh, yeah, what can you do? Like I could sit here and get angry and get mad and be frustrated, but what's the point? It was out of my control, so we might as well just forget about it, move on to the next one, focus on the next one, and put today behind us. It's done with now, who cares? So neutral service have my punctured wheel, which uh, obviously the, the car's still in the race. Therefore, I can't get my wheel until the race is over. So I thought I just might as well. So I thought I might as well just come back and watch the rest of the racing, do a bit of filming, and at least make myself half useful. Just picked up my punctured tyre from the neutral service car. I'm parked about halfway down the hill, so I'm just walking back down now. Yeah, this is a real, this is a real nasty climb to finish on. But the winner today was Matt Noel, who rides for the uh, the Bike Channel Canyon team. It all came down to a lead group of about 10 or 15 riders, which he uh, which he won the bunch kick, I guess, from from that group. So it wasn't really much of a bunch kick. It was just to finish up this climb. So I've just taken the bike out of the car, and look at this. Look at this. Back tire that I punched during the race, yeah, whatever. Front tire. 
also now flat. Today just wasn't my day. <laughs> After I got home from racing, I managed to catch the last hour of uh, Flanders. Philip Schilbert, what an incredible, uh, incredible performance. He attacked solo from, from like 30 miles out, 50, over 50 kilometers, and just soloed it all the way to the finish. But uh, anyway, I don't live too far away from the coast, and I just took a notion of going to the coast this evening. There, there's two reasons why I want to go. Uh, head over to Southport. The first reason is to walk the dogs on the beach. It's always nice to walk the dogs uh, on the beach in Southport. But the second reason is because one of my favorite uh, favorite food chain restaurants is in Southport. So my plan is after I've walked the dogs, I'm gonna get a takeaway from this particular restaurant. So this used to be my all time favorite food. Like I would go I would go crazy for the food from this uh, from this restaurant. And then like six months ago, I kind of just went off it, probably just because I'd eaten it. I'd eaten it so much and, and I just got a little bit bored of it. But a couple of weeks ago when I was with Georgia in Nottingham, we went to this particular place and it kind of reignited and, and re-sparked that love for this restaurant. I thought, let's come down to the beach on a Sunday evening. No one's gonna be here, it's gonna be empty. Turns out every man and his dog is here, walking the dog. All these people. Well, I mean, he's not walking his dog, is he? So I don't know whether the tide's just out. No, no, the tide can't be out because there's grass. That means it's been like this for a long time. But, all right, the car is like there. I'm walking here down this path, all the way out to the sea which is there. I didn't realize it was such a long walk from the road to where the water actually starts. We're getting there, slowly but surely, we're getting there. We've come all the way from the road back there. You probably can't even see the car anymore. I've been walking for so long, I, I honestly had no idea it was this far out. But we're getting there, and that's the main thing. One step at a time. Like, I can actually see water now which is a good thing. Uh, made it. Not really what I had in mind though. I thought it was gonna be sand, but it's not. It's just grass on this side, and then water there, and then just boggy sand here. What I'm trying to say is, it's not a proper beach. Majorly disappointing. But, 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 now time for food. Nando's takeaway to end slash start the week. Double chicken wrap with cheese every time. But anyway, thanks for watching today's video. Um, I just did a quick live stream actually. YouTube, YouTube released, where's my phone? Uh, YouTube released an update, yeah, a couple of days ago where you can now live stream from your phone, which is incredible. It's a game changer. So I just did a quick live stream talking about today's race. So if you don't wanna miss the live streams in the future, the way you can be notified that I'm doing a live stream is next to the subscribe button, there is a little bell. Click that bell and then every time I go live, you'll be notified that, that I'm doing a live stream. But anyway, I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this Nando's on this awesome Sunday evening. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry the race was a little bit um, rubbish, shall we say. I wanted to bring you more today and I believe I had more. I genuinely believe I could have achieved uh, a really good result today, but these things happen. Like I said earlier on, it's just about forgetting about today's race and focusing on the next one because time doesn't wait for anybody. But as always guys, I'll see you tomorrow.